to the UK in August 1971. I decided to come overseas to study, to further my education. And uh, my father then said to me, OK, if you want to go to the UK, we will do our best to support you. So I am a double charter engineer, charter in civil engineering and charter in structural engineering. But then when I was promoted to become a, a director of the international arm of a British consultancy company, then I had to travel all over the world and set up joint venture company. The Chinese National Health Living Centre then wanted a director uh, to come in to help them to, 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 to turn the, the organisation to be a truly national one. So I applied and I got the job. Well, risk as well, obviously. I had no community working experience before that time. I think the people that we serve change a lot. Uh, when I first joined, I would say that about 90% of the, the people who come and use our centres were Cantonese speaking people. But these days, I would say 50 50 now. 50% of our centre users speak Mandarin and they are new migrants from China and they don't really have any status. They come to our centre and seek help because they can't get the, the, the help from anybody else except from us. Because we probably is the only national centre, Chinese national centre that um, deal with health alone. After I joined the centre in August uh, 2000, I set up a Manchester office and then set up um, a Midlands office in Birmingham. When we were running the three centres across the, the country, we must have seen 10,000 a year. Uh, unfortunately, that the money uh, from the, the big lottery ran out in May, May 2005 and we were in, reluctantly have to close those two offices. A specialist organisation, rather than a generalist, we don't provide luncheon club, for instance. We don't have big, big Chinese TV that people, people can go and watch, watch Chinese TV. Mm. Uh, we have bilingual doctor surgery, which practice West, Western medicine. Uh, we have TCM, traditional Chinese medicine, Tai Chi class, uh, we have lots of uh, health events. We set up health events, awareness events, uh, send doctors out to give talk. We also uh, provide people with knowledge or awareness of how to prevent them to get ill. The traditional Chinese medicine is only a, um, one, a small area of our work. That's why we got uh, quite a bit of funding from the NHS. That if we don't have good relationship with them and if they don't trust us, they can deliver good services, they won't con continue to fund us. We, we do more consultancy work these days, but without the consultancy work, it will be tough for us to keep going because we are, the office here, as you know, our centre is, is right at the middle of the West End, which is like gold dust offices, it's like gold dust here, and it's very expensive. <laughs> the UK, there are lots of relationships here. I mean, whether it is the British Chinese or party parliamentary group, the Chi London Chinese Community Network, the Chinese Welfare Trust, the Healthy Living Centre, or the BME Health Forum, because they, they, there's, the relationship is there because I, I, I will in, I'm involved with all these little, little different groups. And so I'm trying to get them all together and work together. To get a, a balance, one should look at life as a, more like a triangle. One is work, the other one is so-so, so-so element, like have, going to see friends, being able to visit relatives. And the third one is family.